Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Joachim Lucius. I'm a filmmaker based here in Antwerp, Belgium. Today, I'm going to give a very quick review about. I guess you saw it already. About this. So, this is the replacement, potential replacement case for my DJ Mavic 3 bag. Um, I think that bag has served me for the short time that I used it. Um, quite, it's quite a nice bag. I got a Mavic 3 Flamo combo, so that came with it. Um, I didn't buy that bag separately. I think it's quite expensive for the, for the value for whatever um, use it's intended for. Um, it's a really nice bag, well designed, fashionable, I would say, as well to some extent. But I think the price of, I think 150 to 200 euros for it is quite expensive. Um, I would not really advise anyone to buy that bag as a standalone bag. Um, there are other alternatives out there. But the reason why I decided to get this hard case is because currently I've been in, a, I'm sort of in a situation where I'm looking for the next, not the next best thing per se, but the most comfortable and practical, still good looking. Okay, that's a lot of criteria, right? Um, bag for my for my drone, and I've tried every other kind of bags I've come across and I kind of think I kind of think that um, a hard case is what I want to go for. Yep. So basically the reason why I'll be dating my Mavic 3 bag is because it just doesn't motivate me to fly. Um, the fact that the compartments are overlapping and that is my biggest issue with it. Um, this sounds like a first word problem but yeah it's what it is. Um, I do not really feel comfortable that bag does not motivate me to go shoot. Um, the fact that I cannot put my controller with the joysticks attached to it, I need to force unscrew it and screw it and all those stuff. It seems like just one or two minutes to do right, but sometimes there are times where I'm at a place I'm in a hurry to catch something quite like really, really that moment, that spot. Um, the additional time I have to spend doing all those stuff, so having to take a master straight box to access the controller to access a new battery or something, it's just something I don't want to do and I do not enjoy it. I'm trying to make my life easier and life could indeed could be easy so i went for this one instead and this is from a brand called le Kofi. i think it's a german brand i might be wrong i'm not 100 percent sure but um i think it's a german brand i got this stuff from amazon and i think the value of this stuff is about 80 euros thereabouts um i usually buy myself without v80 because i'm a business and i also got discount on this as well so i ended up paying about 50 euros thereabouts for 50 euros um i think this is quite good it's first of all the brand is a good brand i have a lot of stuff from them mind you this is not a sponsored video um i i just would i would promote any brand that i use that is good and i would also not promote any brand that i use that is bad so it's just what it is i'm being truthful um this is a very good brand i've had other hard cases from them for my cameras for my batteries for my accessories and everything for my lights as well too they work really 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 well so when i saw this um hard case for the mavic 3 i did not waste time i quickly like rush to port, um, purchase it actually this is the second one i'm owning the first one i owned was um could accommodate only the dj rc n1 controller i literally got the rc pro controller i'll make a review about that and i had a need to get this instead um, the good thing about this as well too is that this can actually accommodate the rc n1 controller and the rc pro controller as well too so if you want to get this hard case i advise you to go for this one because it's in a way it's quite better as well too so uh, i'm going to start by showing you the one of the functions i like about this hard case i've said the fact that it's built like a tank um like literally this i feel like i could put stash of money in this stuff and i'll feel like you know secured it's really really strong it's really hard whatever kind of plastic they use i don't know what this is but this is extremely extremely strong um, i like the safety feature they have where you cannot accidentally open um, the suitcase you need to press this button and then twist you press and you twist and that is the only way this actually gets to open i like that because um, i've had other cases in the past where I, uh, I don't know, just one or two slight movements and the case is open and everything is out on the ground. So I like the fact that there are these safety um, function for this. And when you open this, this is lovely. I really, really do like this. Um, this is really neat. This is extremely neat. I'm so impressed. Um, I'm not surprised again because it's a very good brand. Um, I like the fact that it has this soft cushion over here. It's really, really nice. And if you look at the um, compartments for your different accessories, your batteries, your controller, the drone itself, and the accessories box, everything is really well built. Um, I think I already took out the part. Yeah, so if you do this right, so this is the I don't know if you can really see this. So this is the RC Pro controller. I have it up here if I take it out. And I'm gonna try bend this a little bit just so you guys can see. So you see over here, right? If I take off this, there's a compartment here. Let me see if you can really see. Yeah, indeed, so you can see the cuts already. 
I can take this out and uh, you can accommodate your ROC N1 controller or any other controller you have. I think this accommodates it perfectly. But um, the reason why I got this is for the ROC Pro and it is really, 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 really nice. Um, one of the reasons why I like this compared to, again, like I've already mentioned, compared to the DJI bag is the fact that I can put my controller with this joysticks attached. I do not need to unscrew or screw it. Um, it sounds like, it sounds like false, false word problem, but really just having to do this always and put this back, frankly speaking, I do not even trust that process. I feel like something can get loose or broken in the process. So I just like the fact that this can, you know, always remain there. Um, that is one problem solved for me. And, sorry, I'm just gonna close this real quick. By the way, this has, uh, this has um, compartment for literally everything you need. It has compartment for your accessories, it has compartments for every, every, everything really. One of the downsides to this bag, and my biggest problem to it, is the fact that one is the suitcase configuration. That sounds stupid, I know, yeah, but I prefer a backpack configuration because um, it's just easier carrying a backpack. It can carry for a longer period of time. Um, you don't need to fatigue your hand and you don't look like a contractor. I don't like that look. <laughs> um, but this also looks more professional when you go um, see a client with a drone in a case like this. It looks like you really know what you're doing. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking the whole client's looks and expectations and all those stuff, but business-wise, it's good to make an impression for your clients. Um, but this is actually really, really, and extremely heavy. That is the downside to it, it's really, really heavy. Um, and the drone itself is quite heavy. The RC Pro controller is heavy. The extra batteries are heavy. And this itself is heavy. So after like a while, you get kind of fast, you get kind of tired. And the reason why I prefer the backpack as well to the backpack configurations is the fact that I could, of course, travel to my back and probably ride a bike or a scooter or anything, you know, um, for another period of time. I really can ride a bicycle with this. I mean, not safely, I can't do this. I, I won't show, I want the police. You might have to see me riding a bike with one hand and holding this on one hand. Um, if you always drive to locations and stuff like that, then that's good. Um, but if you're going to shoot just for the fun, maybe like behind your house or somewhere, or just like in the woods or something, um, I would not really, really like to go with this. But I know in life you can't get everything you ask for. You have to make sacrifices and compromises. So I think I'm either going to keep this um, because I really do like it. Um, maybe I'm gonna get a backpack as well too, or I will just see what I have. Guys, if you, and by the way, this is waterproof, dustproof, and every proof, and I think it's rated IP67, it's written somewhere here. So this is really, really, really good as well too. Um, you can be sure that when traveling, if you put this in the um, garbage, not garbage, uh, what is it called? Baggage hold. Um, doesn't matter how the baggage handlers toss the stuff, so your equipment, your drone, everything is quite safe, that's a good thing. But my biggest problem is the weight and the fact that it is, you have to hold it like this. Um, guys, so that was it for this video. If you have something similar to this, it doesn't matter if it's from Mavic 3 or any set of drone, please let me know. I'd like to know your opinion. I'd like to um, hear what you guys think about it. If it's actually, if I'm overthinking the whole thing, it's possible. Uh, I'd like to know. And until next time, I wish you a good morning, afternoon, evening. By the way, if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell button. It means a lot to me. It um, quite encourages me. And um, so that's it, guys. Um, until next time, please do stay safe and keep creating. Peace out.